Tune in to The Pulse for the latest business opportunities, news and information, company profiles and trends for your business in Prince George's County. Stay connected, stay current in 15 minutes with The Pulse. Dedicated to helping small business grow, thrive and connect. Calling all entrepreneurs, get ready because word has it there are nearly 28 million small businesses in the U.S. You're membership driven, right? Absolutely. So why is it important for businesses to get involved? Well, businesses voice? need a voice. They need a voice locally in Prince George's County. They need a voice statewide, so the Maryland Chamber. They need a voice regionally because a lot of people live in one part of the region, work in another, maybe even have kids that go to school in another. And During the session, you proposed a 1% increase in <laughs> Maryland's sales tax. Yeah, a penny. What? Uh, add the penny. <laughs> what? Okay, so yeah. what were you what were you trying to offset with sure. with that? Yeah, and mine was different. Mine was clear cut. Okay. It was going to go to the voters first. Mm -hmm. uh, his plan wasn't go to the voters. Mine was going to take to the voters and say, "Would you be willing to spend an extra penny if the money went only for school construction?" What EDC's role is in the county, and then more specifically to what programs you have for small businesses? Absolutely, it's really focused on two types of customers. The first customer is the job seeker. Okay. Uh, all of our residents out there who are looking for jobs, which right now there are over 20,000 of our residents who are ready, uh, they've been trained, they're highly skilled, and they're looking for work. How can a business owner benefit from the expertise of business coaches? What, what's involved in the process? Well, everybody has a different process, but one of the biggest things that I think that an entrepreneur can get from a advisor or coach is kind of an objective. Mm -hmm perspective mm -hmm. and outside view. We already said that they can't see the forest for the trees most of the time. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at PGC Diversity and our YouTube channel, The Pulse TV. Next time on The Pulse, upcoming opportunities for small and minority contractors. Also, get ready because there's a new CEO in town. Until then, I'm Denise Roberts. And remember, in Prince George's County, your success is our success.